So I'm out at Rocky River today. The trail's closed to mountain bikers. So I've got the trail all to myself. So today, I'm gonna to be asking you the question. What is more important, motivation or environment? I've been asking myself this question here a lot lately because I have thought one was more important than the other. And I still agree that one is more important than the other, but it's not the one that I thought. So let's clarify motivation and environment. What do I mean when I ask the question, what is more important, environment or motivation? Let me define what I'm talking about in motivation. We've all watched a video, maybe on this channel or any other one that have been motivating. And by the way, if you've watched any motivating videos, copy the link and put it in this comment. I would love to watch them. I love to scour the internet for motivating videos. We've all watched those videos or we may have read David Goggins book and been like, we can do anything. And the reality is we can, but those videos in that book doesn't describe the environment that was curated or crafted to achieve those results. That's why I asked the question, what is more important, motivation or environment? I think motivation is a byproduct of environment. Let me tell you what I mean. I've featured John Gordon and Jonathan Fariati in these videos and many other people that have been motivating for me. But what they've honestly done is they've honestly helped me create an environment where the results that I'm getting are not weird. They're just what should happen. When you create an environment where you're always improving or when you create an environment where outrageous distances, it's just what you do. But when you watch a video that's motivating, it can honestly be as detrimental as it is beneficial. Because I think you have to be in the right mindset to take that motivation, to take that video and be able to turn it into an environment that will help you get to that goal. Uh, even while I was reading David Goggins book, can't hurt me. There were a lot of things that he was doing that I just couldn't wrap my head around. I hadn't created the environment that would embrace or would help me get to that moment. The environment is super important. The environment will help you create a habit to achieve whatever you want to do. Now, let me stop because the reason for this video is because I am reading a book called Atomic Habits. It is incredible. If you're an athletic person of any kind, I highly recommend you going down to the description, clicking the link, and getting the audiobook. It's opened my mind's eye to how I can create habits to achieve anything that I want to do. But he talks through the environment that a person's behavior is a direct reflection to their environment. Like, think about that. A person's behavior is a direct reflection of their environment. I have a run club that's a text message. It's called The Streakers. A good friend of ours, Sean, decided he was going to throw it out. We were going to run a mile every day to the new year, 2021. And we did. And why did most people attempt this challenge? Because they were part of this environment up until a few weeks ago i think there was still one or two guys streaking in that that's running at least one mile a day tim womble may have done the most and this is a guy that went from cold turkey not running to one time he was driving home and he texted me at like 10 30 at night because he hadn't ran his day he was still on the interstate and he got it in right before 
it was midnight. And why? Because it's the environment that he was in. So back to the question, what is most important? Motivation or environment? Well, I think that motivation is a byproduct of your environment. The environment is important. What is your environment? 